Hey guys, today we're going to be revisiting Goku and Bardock. Um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm revisiting Goku and Bardock when I use them quite often. And, uh, well, the main reason is because when I released my top 10 characters video, the most recent one, uh, like five days ago or something like that, um, I got a lot of comments talking about how they were, like, very surprised that I had Goku and Bardock even on the list at all. Um, let alone, I think they were like, what, like number six or something on the list? Um, I, I don't really think that, I, well, at the, time, at the time of making that list, I did not think that was that big of a controversial opinion to have, that Goku and Bardock were, you know, in the discussion for like number six through number eight on a top ten list. Um, but it seems that a lot of people don't agree with that opinion, which I don't really care that much, but guess what that means? It means we get to turn it into a video. So <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at Goku and Bardock here. Uh, it also means we get to use this overlay, which I don't really get a, a ton of a uh, ton of opportunities to do. Uh, I do like this overlay a lot. Um, OK, so we're going to use them, of course, next to UI Goku. We're also going to throw PyCon on the team. This is just typical Saiyans here. Uh, we could also throw on like uh, GT Spirit Bomb Goku instead of PyCon, make it more of a Sun Family team. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Obviously, PyCon, I don't think, is as strong as he was. But uh, in terms of his ability to provide some extra utility to the team in terms of healing, support, green cards, I think it's pretty good for Goku and Bardock. So we're going to run this setup here. We're also going to be giving Goku and Bardock two Zenkai buffs with the Namek Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then, of course, we're using the uh, LF Bardock on the bench for not only the HP buff for Goku and Bardock and UI Goku, but also for the Zenkai buff for UI Goku. Uh, this is a pretty standard setup. I don't think there's anything that needs to be explained in detail here. Uh, in terms of equipment, it's pretty self-explanatory. We have their unique equip here. That's I think this was part of the co-op uh, that was out when they first dropped. Pure offenses, base defenses, special move damage. We have, uh, this is sort of like the same style of equipment that we just got for Ultra Golden Frieza. Uh, even though it is just a normal gold equip, right? It's not an awakened equipment. It is not a unique equipment. It's still actually very, very, very powerful. HP. 20% base strike, and then on top of that, they're getting 15% pure strike. That is a lot of damage. I'm not the biggest fan of base critical in slot 1, but I think the equip is probably just good enough on its own to warrant using over a lot of other unique and awakened equipment. Um, and then lastly, we're going to be using this awakened equip. I do think this is actually in a pretty good spot right now. Um, the 6% to pure blast defense for each Saiyan battle member is going to make this character more effective against... Uh, the blast centric meta that we're in right now like super 17 and, and gohan and even like opponent ui gokus and stuff like that so uh this should work out pretty well as also it gives us some good strike attack as well over 30 percent on this one so we're gonna jump in with this build goku and bardock i mean i didn't think it was that <laughs> controversial to have them where i done the list but i guess we'll see how they perform in the video here Super 17 on LOE. Oh, this hand is terrible. Oh my god, dude. Switch, please. Alright, All right, okay. Interesting. Um. I don't think. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to kill. Chi is too low. Oh, you hit him with that. Okay, thanks. Uh, that sucks. Yep. Okay, test two of them. Pycon is probably dead. Yeah. Good old Pycon. I'm telling you right now, PyCon's unique gauge is going to age horrible. It's already, it's already aged really bad. Alright, well, unfortunately, we are going to have to use the Indestructible already. I could have went to UI for this, but whatever. Let's do this, just to heal up a little bit. Jump, please. Yep. 
All right, we do have our full gauge with Goku and Bardock. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the unique gauge isn't crazy on this character, but it's still it's still worth mentioning. Okay, that's a little bit concerning that he would do that. I clicked it too late. I'll just go to UI. Really? Damn. That's not gonna kill me. Why would you do this? You think this is gonna kill? Alright, we'll see. Good luck with that. If he was so confident that I was gonna do that, why didn't he just rush when I was blasting him? Why'd he go for that right away? We should be okay to dodge this. Yep. Alright, we have no I'll vanish, unfortunately. I am gonna go to Gogeta here. I don't really care if he dies, to be honest. Yeah. Nothing I do about that. I think I'm going to main here just to heal. Okay. Sure. This is not a great spot. We have one health. Any guesses? Us. Okay. Game, we won. I think we can actually go back to get do enough attacks to go back into Goku if we switch to Bardock here, which is really good because that means we can just heal up more. Now let's get this in, and I'm gonna go to UI. Yeah, exactly. Unlock his rising run. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think they did pretty well here. I, uh, obviously, they're not at the level of, like, Golden Freezer or Super 17. I've never claimed that, but they certainly carried their weight in this fight. The Tag Fours. Okay, thanks. Uh, he's gonna go to Gogeta, I don't really care. Doesn't go to Gogeta. Alright, well now you're just dead. <laughs> what the hell, what are you doing? The tag fours, huh? huh. Interesting decision. Bye to you. Okay, sounds good. Goodbye. Wait, he can switch already? Huh. He goes right away. Okay. Maybe I should have anticipated he would go right away there. I'm just gonna go for this. Gotta go, Gita. 
Um, I'm going to use one of these here. Strike him here. Nice wave. Do you have enough blast cards? He actually does. Wow. And we're paralyzed now, too. Get out of here. <laughs> of course. Hello. Mm hmm. There's Pycon's gauge. That's good. Now we can kind of just throw him away. <laughs> Paralyzed still. Still paralyzed, by the way. Why would you just, just throw him away? Okay. All right, let's just go to UI and do nothing. That was good. This hand is really bad. And GG. All right, we're up against powerful opponent. He has double blast cover changes. This is very uncommon. Go full screen here. He does actually not play around the armor cancel, so we can do that next time. Okay. I kind of wanted to switch, but okay. Right, give me a green. Janemba? No Janemba? Still no Janemba? Okay. Ha, <laughs> he goes right away, damn. Uh, let's go to you. Oh, he so drops. Okay, sure. I really don't care about Janemba. A lot of damage, bro. At some point, you're gonna have to switch. Like, like right there. Dude, 99 cost, huh? Let's heal up a little bit here. I'm gonna wait to go back into the overtapped? This. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna go to one anyway. I'm just gonna let the instructable proc here. No reason not to. Doesn't play around arm. I can't. Couldn't do the armor cancel there. Alright, I. He failed the jump jump. There's no way he goes to Janemba, right? There's our rush. Okay. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll just use this green card with Goku and Bardock and we'll just kill him. Oh, 
Oh, that was a good jump jump. That time you got her correctly. We're not gonna die to this. And we live! <laughs> no! <laughs> Killed some taps. Okay. That time we did the jump jump right. Okay, so he's gonna do the jump jump every time. We'll just play around it. Damn, I could just rush here. Or we could not. Or we could not. No, the cost. Dude, the cost. I wanted to LF him. The cost increase. Alright, we can get another chance to LF him. Another chance to LF him. No! You're not supposed to... Oh, whatever. Alright, well this is very similar to the team we just fought. So he's using Goku and Frieza instead of Janemba. Okay. That's good. He has no uh, blast cover changes besides Frieza, so we can just go with this. I'm gonna go to Bardock just for the card draw speed. I think we're gonna do this now. Okay, goodbye. Cool. Unfortunately, I had to destroy that other green card, but the cost increase makes it impossible to <laughs> continue the combo with the blast card there. Rashi's letting Frieza take this? Did he knew, knew he was going to let? Okay, now he's dead. I was going to say, did he know? Oh, he's going to forfeit. Makes sense. All right, this is the, uh, the classic Gohan Frieza and Super 17 team. Everyone's favorite. Um, yeah, I was kind of scared. I mean, I wasn't really scared he was going to do this, but it doesn't really matter unless he's a blue, which is going to suck. I got to go to, you know, I would do a lot of damage for sure. Eh, whatever. It's fine. This is going to do a lot of damage to, you know, yikes. Okay. Pretty good play. All right, Goku. Double blast is really good. I'm gonna do this in case he goes to Frieza. Chain this in with cover and all again. And now we can do this. And I'm pretty sure you lost. Be sure you're dead. Bye, Gohan. This is not exactly a great hand. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna draw a green card. Just gonna let Pycon die. Actually, no, we can do this. <laughs> we have a green card now, thanks to Pycon there. I could play. <laughs> okay. 
たな<笑>またいつか一緒に戦おうぜオッケー、今日はこれを見つけたら、あなたはこれを見つけたら、あなたはこれを見つけたら、あなたはこれを見つけたら、あなたはこれを見I think we'll just continue here. That's fine. Actually, you have to click the ult. That's not good. That sounds good. I mean, things are looking pretty good now. Why would you let him die? Why wouldn't he just go to Golden Frieza? I don't understand this. Quick attack, maybe? Yeah. He lived. I'm gonna get this、uh, comeback on PyCon. Obviously, don't care about his first life, so we'll just have this, have this happen. Then we'll go to you. Remember, we lower sub count whenever we dodge.、So. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we're not doing that. The Nemba? Covered all now, thanks. You guys getting the picture yet? But what, this character's good? We're just gonna go back to UI here. Uh, I don't think we. Do we main with UI? I don't think we did. Yeah, we did not. Go ahead, do something. Yeah, we got our vanish back and our gate, or not our, our gauge back. No, now you have no vanish. All right, I think we'll make this the final match. The Boo Duo. Uh, I actually am going to do a revisit on them soon. I don't know when. Probably within the next like three or four days, because this is going to be、um, their one year anniversary coming up since they've released. And I always like to do videos on characters、uh, one year after they come out. So we'll do a video on them soon. I,、uh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm glad that it is early in the season, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, I don't even know how that happened. Alright. Overnall. 
interesting. Yeah. Really? That didn't... Okay, I guess not. He's in the strike, watch this. Oh, he didn't. Nice backup, but you didn't move. You didn't do anything. Okay, there's the second cover change. I'm gonna do something stupid and go to Bardock here. Wait, what? <laughs> that's gotta have been a that's gotta have been a misclick. This guy's been playing decently well. Uh, that's fine. Everyone misclicks. But this is obviously not a great spot for him now. I think someone's dead here. Really, I'm actually surprised he would go into them. He has no more cover changes left with UI. 800 HP. Man. Triple stop. Oh no, double stop time. Alright, this is not going to kill, obviously, but... Right, goodbye to you. Give me that green card. And GG! So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of Goku and Bardock. Obviously, um, I, I would I would argue against the people saying that they are not top 10 anymore. <laughs> I, I just, like, let's just think about this for a second, right? Okay, so actually, I should preface this by saying something, right? I don't care about tier lists. I don't care about top 10 lists. I've been saying for a very long time that I think they are not useful for most players. And uh, you're better off playing the way you like to play and forming your own opinion based off of your play style and based off of your region and based off of your account that's the best way to evaluate which characters you think are good and which characters you think are not good so me giving you my opinion on these characters i mean it's my perspective i'm gonna have a completely different experience playing the game than most of you guys are but um based off of the rankings that i put in my video who is number 10 like purple cell we have like purple jiren on there as well like there's no there's no, like, uh, dimension where Purple Cell is better than this character. There's no dimension where Purple Jiren is better. Like, it's, just, it's, just not, it's not an argument that's based in reality, based off of my experience in the game. And, I mean, I think we were able to show in this video how good this character can be. And um, I just don't see how people think this character doesn't have value right now. Yes, I, uh, I will concede that... Golden Frieza and Super 17 and Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan are better than this character. I don't think that's very debatable. But the, does that automatically mean this character is bad? No. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing. So anyway, uh, this was the revisit on Goku and Bardock. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next.